Well, a big push from the GOP in the House taking aim at Planned Parenthood. The House just passing a bill that would block federal funding to that group for a year. It's in response to a series of videos appearing to show Planned Parenthood officials discussing how they would sell tissue from aborted fetuses to medical researchers. The controversy setting off a heated debate in Congress. Harvesting the parts from these little baby boys and girls has become a political issue. This is about a horrific act that is repulsive and repugnant and has no place in America, and America's taxpayers refuse to pay for that. Let's not continue with this deception about what's actually going on here. The Republicans just want to shut the government down if, they, if we don't defund Planned Parenthood. That's what they're all about. Joining us now, Tennessee Congresswoman Diane Black. She's a member of the Congressional Pro-Life Caucus, author of the bill to defund Planned Parenthood, and she's been a nurse for the past 40 years. Welcome. Great to have you on the show today. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Talk to me for a moment about the efforts to block the funding for Planned Parenthood. I know that this was uh, perceived as a hard fight uh, in the House, but you had enough votes there to pull this off. I did, and it was bipartisan, which I'm proud to say. And well, I want to be clear what this bill does. It places a moratorium on Planned Parenthood's funding for the period of one year while Congress investigates the activities that are potentially illegal that we've seen in these undercover videos. Now, I know that the other side cannot defend these videos, so they try to um, say a lot of things that are not true, and that is that we're going to take away women's health care. Um, first of all, uh, that is not so because there are other community health clinics out there for every one plan. Parenthood Clinic, there are some 20 um, health care centers that are federally qualified that can take up the slack that's there. In addition to that, we're putting another $235 million into women's health services, so not a dime will be lost. No woman should be without services. And in addition to that, the final thing is, is that we have in the bill um, provided that if Planned Parenthood says we will stop doing abortions, they will get the money for their clinics. But they have to stop doing abortions while we're doing this investigation. So for this interim, the funds that would normally have gone to Planned Parenthood, they would be directed to other agencies that provide health services, right? That is correct. And there are some 13,500 of those agencies across the country in rural areas that provide very comprehensive preventative women's health care. There are only 700 Planned Parenthood facilities and there are 13,500 federally qualified health centers across the country. Talk to me for a moment about, you know, what you think uh, helped you gain support from the other side not to make this simply a partisan issue where you were able to get bipartisan support for the passage of this bill in the House? I, I encourage people to go and watch the videos because unless you've seen the videos, it's awfully hard to really know uh, the horrendous activity that's taking place there. But I, I think, you know, you, you, even if you're pro-abortion, um, pro if you watch these videos, the despicable activity of selling fetal tissue, of um, per performing procedures that are unlawful, uh, such as um, performing a procedure that is not used for other abortions but specifically for or a fetus uh, recovering uh, fetal tissue, such as when they say, we'll crunch from above and we'll crunch from below so that we can resume um, taking out the portion that we want. That's against the law. And so that's our job in Congress, is to make sure that people are abiding by the law, especially if they're getting taxpayer dollars to the tune of $500 million, a half a billion dollars a year. We want to be sure that they are abiding by the law. You know, all this is teeing up for a real showdown with the White House. The Senate still has to vote. But, you know, the president's going to promise a veto on this one as far as he says right at this point. How do you plan to overcome this hurdle? Or is this just a symbolic vote from your perspective? No, it's not a symbolic vote. First of all, it is our job to do the investigation when we believe there's been illegal activity, especially where there are um, taxpayer dollars that are being used. We also want the American people to actually see what is happening so that they they will know and we can win the hearts and minds of people about what's happening in, in Planned Parenthood behind the closed doors. Um, but also, we, we want to be sure that um, this gets to the president's desk so we can show just where his values are, um, where his, his support is, and um, we have other ways that we can also get this to the president's desk. This is just one of them, and this is just the beginning. You really just want to hold him really accountable for, you know, what's at stake here, and you want him to actually have to face that head on. 
I certainly do. I just dare him as the American people see these videos and whether you are a Democrat or a Republican, pro-life or pro-choice, I think you will agree that the inhumane activity that is on these videos is not something that we can accept here in the United States. Congresswoman, always great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Keep us posted. It's great to be with you. Thank you for having me.